Hi guys, so today I just wanted to do a quick update on the Sally Henson Big Peel Off Base Coat. Last week I updated you guys using the other base coat. I'll put that down in the description if you missed it and you want to see it. So this one I did one coat and on two of the nails I capped them. I didn't because I had a feeling with this being glue that it would kind of reactivate when I showered and stuff. So I only capped two of the nails. Hopefully that makes sense. What I mean by capping is that I painted the free edge. So I have to tell you guys, I waited five days to do this video just so it would be the same as the other one. Within three days, um, two of my nails had popped off, my thumbnails. Those were the ones I capped. And then the next day, so that would be the fourth day I had it on, I had three other ones pop off. Now, like I said, I waited for the fifth day to show you guys what I have left. So basically what I have left is four fingernails <laughs> on my left hand. Um, and that's it. The rest have popped off. So, I mean, it works as a peel-off base coat. And I'll go ahead and peel one off so you guys can see. And see, here's where it ends up peeling off is right here at the free, right at the free edge. Now one thing I will say, this one compared to the other one, I do feel a little bit more tugging when I'm peeling it off, but it comes off in cleaner sections. So that's the first one. And the second, see right here where it kind of peels up a little bit of that nail? And I'm just thinking if this was my real nail not covered in a not covered in hard gel, that it would actually be pulling up little chunks of your nail. So, I don't know, that concerns me a little bit, because eventually if you use it a lot, you know, you'd end up losing layers of your nail and they'd become weaker and weaker each time you use it, so... I don't know. It seems a little scary to me. So again, I have some leftovers here on the side. It did pick up a little bit of the hard gel underneath when it was peeling up. It does feel a little more tuggy than the other one. So for me, I think I'm going to stick with the other one for what I need it to. I mean, this did work, and it is cheaper, so it might be worth it for you to use it that way. Or maybe if you used a little bit of oil or something to help it come up easier. I don't know. For me... I'm worried that it would start peeling up my natural nails if I was using it on my natural nails. So that just seems a little counterproductive because you're trying to avoid soaking your gel off to save your natural nails. So using something that's going to start peeling off layers of it seems a little silly. But I hope this was helpful to someone. It does work as a peel off base coat. Will I be using it? Probably not unless I have gel overlay on my nails. I would not use this one on my natural mouse. That's just me personally. So I'll leave the link to the product down below. I'll also leave the link to the last video that I did. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave those in the comment section. As always, thank you guys for watching.